Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. Yes, we made it. <laughs> 13 to the 14, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. How is everybody? How's everybody? Let me see here. Let me just get ready for you guys while well, I get myself set situated here at the situation room. Oh, something's about to happen then if I say that. Mm -hmm. Big decisions coming. Wow. Can be. It's involving, I think, countries. Something's happening between countries. I sometimes see that. Okay. I don't want to see that. So let's just sip some coffee. How are you? <laughs> yeah. mm. I did your reading the other day, right? I'm more relaxed in the afternoon. The wee wee time, it's called. The wee time. The wee wee time. <laughs> the wee hours. The wee wee. <laughs> I'm more relaxed, right? It's more of like an ASMR. How are you guys? Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading for the 13 to the 14. <laughs> you guys are funny. Take it easy, guys. A lot of things are so serious. Okay. A lot of things are so serious. But let's see what's going on with your love, relationship, and soulmate. How is everybody on that side? Here we go. Here we go, Pisces. <gasps> See, I've, the reason why I didn't want to talk about it, it's like I felt like there's some sort of war that is just going to come up. And I did that with the other reading before, with Aquarians, where I saw a decision, you know, in the White House. And then the first card is the Tower. That's why I said I didn't want to see it. Just saying, for reference, I might go on this reading. This is for the 13 to the 14. Well, that's tomorrow. <laughs> it's like, Sal, you might not need that, that video because it's about to happen. Could that be possible? Mm -hmm. I don't know what is impossible anyway. Mm. Well, we'll see. That is a, this, is, this is just a surprise event. Just something that is surprise. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. The sun card. Surprise. Huh. It's almost like I would have to go off air if I wanted to talk about it. It can't go, can't go here. Just saying there's a resemblance to this structure. You kind of know what it looks like. You guys, you be the judge. The sun card though, something positive out of it. Something positive out of something that is destructive. Something that has to be, you know, this is, you know, the destroying of the foundation in order for something to grow. It's a different Phoenix Rising because this is like, the death card has to be the Phoenix Rising, wipe out. But this is like in pain, through pain and suffering, then something good comes. I feel sad. I know it's gonna go weird. Because I'm, I'm picking up something different. It involves babies and young ones. But it's almost like it's for their better. I'm not here to judge. I'm going to try to pull back to the soulmate energy here. Hmm. Someone has is refusing to transform. Refusing to open up, refusing to grow, someone is holding back on growth. This is like when someone holds onto their feelings and emotion and it's destroying them from within. Mm -hmm. Other person, 
three of wands. This is so mad. I'm getting goosebumps because the synchronicity is just way too much. Look at that. Remember for me, three of wands is waiting for the sun. The sun is coming. That's what they're saying here. Can be waiting for a Leo, um, Cancer also here. That's gonna be a, uh, a sun in Cancer, Leo rising. With an Aries and a Scorpio. Six of Pentacles. It involves a similar facility that I'm seeing here. Not the big one, the other facility, if you know what I'm saying. Just don't want to go on the record with those. It involves the justice part of it. It's like people are going to be there. And while they're there, while they're doing their own thing, something happens. Some people will just going to take stuff, you know, to protect themselves. But it's almost like it gotta go down. It's gonna go down, it's gonna go down. That's what they're saying here. It's the other person. Five of Swords. Argument about kids. Argument about, about looking at the positive of the situation. A lot of conflict. It's, this is the war. Huh? That's too big. I ain't no Nostradamus. Who knows, maybe. I don't know. Was he gorgeous? Just kidding. I'm still trying to get a joke out of this because he's just too much. <laughs> if he's gorgeous, then I'm in. <laughs> but that's the war there. And I keep saying there was a war. Because look at this. You see how this person is looking from afar from the horizon? That reminds me of, you know how they do those testing and then the mushroom? If there's anything of my prediction that will and shouldn't resonate, <laughs> might as well this one, you know? <laughs> like, nothing resonates, Sal, you know, nothing, nothing. <laughs> we don't know who you're reading, you know? Because it's almost like I'm reading for a specific event and that event is not that pretty. It's not even your soulmate. It's not even your soulmate. I'm gonna try to put the soulmate. Okay. So your soulmate over here is refusing to change, refusing to open up, and then last minute they're gonna do something. They will open up. They, they were forced to say something. Because out of the situation that they were being pressured, they speak up, and then when they speak up, it cause it causes trouble for the other person because the other person has high expectation of what was supposed to be discussed, and then you know fight between the two of you. The direction between the two of you is not clear, and then it goes further, and then you know it's like more chaos and more chaos between the two of you, and then the only time where there's so, so much chaos, that's the only time that you guys can go and and go in the same direction. It's almost like you will, you guys will both agree to disagree, basically, there. Okay, so I'm gonna continue this reading, guys, together with the four points, and, you know, okay. I'm not sure, you know, what goes on here. But we'll continue extended. Okay, next to this is the snippets. Bye. Hi, guys, so this is the extended. Of course, the energy is a little different. I'm not being mysterious over here. <laughs> Look at, look at the mysteriosity. Um, your reading is good, okay? J that, but you know how I was reading the other prediction. Um, that one is not. <laughs> okay. But your reading is good. That one, okay? So don't be scared with extended with regards to your energy. Um, a lot of dates were plotted. Very, um, how do I say this? It's like, um, you get you get it in the journey that you are embarking. However, there's particular time that you have to be in the present moment and it exists in that moment so that you can you know, basically project out, you know, to the final destination. Oh, why did I say that? Okay. Meaning there's no escape. It's that's supposed to happen. Okay. And how let's I don't wanna go there. <laughs> okay. So, um yes, so reading is good, okay. It's good. But the other one that I was getting picking up wasn't um, that good. Okay, so I'm gonna go, guys. Here comes the snippets. Page of Wands, attraction. Justice card, Four of Wands, Knight of Swords. 
someone is trying to escape, just believe that this is the eclipse energy. You're gonna ask me, Sal, what's the good news? Okay, let's see what's good news for you. More enlightening, okay? Oh, expect good news also after so something goes in between. I mean, if you're a mom, then you're the one in between, you know, like, stop being in between your own relationship, you know?